give a quick demonstration of how you can use a power app to create a canvas power app for the purpose of scanning a business card. This request was from a partner who wanted to see if this functionality was available. Did a little bit of research and Microsoft have a very nice document on this process and I'll share with you that now. So this link will take you to an experience to be able to create this process. Um, it's the business card reader, which is part of the Power Platform and uses a model called an AI builder model. Um, so I'll share a link here with you guys and I'll show what it looks like, but it pretty much goes through the entire process of what you need to do to create this process. Um, and very easy to follow as well. So I'll show you the application. Uh, very simple instructions. This is the um, application itself. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So I've got the app itself, which is a Canvas app, and I can make the app bigger or smaller if I wanted to. I'm happy with the size. It's just for demonstration. Um, I have a home screen, and I have an entry uh, um, an, uh, on entry screen. Now this application, the home screen, has a form which is getting information from a data source, which is a contact card, which is a Dataverse contact. So anything we scan will automatically go straight into a Dataverse. So if I click on the left-hand side here under data, you'll see that I'm using the contacts Microsoft Dataverse environment. Um, I'm in my test environment here, but anything I create will actually end up as a contact inside of the Dataverse and specifically the contacts table inside the Dataverse. So the flow looks a bit like this. We've got the home screen. Uh, we scan the business card, which is this element here, which is this specific business card reader AI element. I was able to bring that up from the insert option under AI build and then the business card reader. You'll notice it is a premium license required, so you'll need to power a professional license to do this. Uh, and then a very simple process. I just um, made sure I listed out all of the form information I would like to utilize. Uh, so when it scans, it knows what to do with it. For example, the first name is here. Um, if I click on the advanced properties here and scroll down, you'll see that the first name is being captured here. Uh, if I go to, if I actually go to the filter itself, the actual data card itself, you can see that the uh, defaults is going to be pulling across from the business card reader, a IO builder module and return the full name. It's also up here. And I did that for all the other um, actions as well. Last name. Let me show you the last name. Mm, might have to make that change because that doesn't look like it is. So let's go business card reader dot last name. There you go. Uh, let's check the email one as well. Let's do that too. Uh, mobile. Um, then we can test the flow by clicking on this checker checkbox. Um, there is an image here that I'm utilizing, which I'm not needing anymore, so I can actually delete this, but I might as well go and do that now. So I've just done the checker to make sure there's no problem with the any of the fields. Uh, that was an entry in the uh, home screen here, just to change the look and feel of how the uh, items are added here in the entry screen. Yeah, so that's pretty much the process. So we'll just do a final check to make sure. I'll do a save. Uh, we'll do a final health check. There's some accessibility issues, a bit of performance, but again, just a demonstration, so that's fine. We press play. Um, I'll just scan in a little bit. So the way to use this app, you could do this on your mobile phone as well, but you just click scan business card. I think I downloaded my business card onto my desktop, which is called image 000885, very good name. But the system will then go and interpret the card, populate the data, and then I can press create contact. This, I've already created this contact, so I don't need to do it twice, but this will then go and create this, um, this business card, reading the context of the card and populate these fields, as you can see there. It's a nice little feature. It does work quite, quite nicely. I'll stop that. Um, sorry, if, if I go back and press the button down here to edit, you'll see that that's that entry there. So that's all of the entries in this 
dummy table or dummy database, I should, should say, but that flow works quite nicely. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next recording.